Hey, this is Nick Nielsen, Mad Scientist Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a partial loaded push-up. Now, this one, if you have a Smith machine, is going to be easier to do in the Smith machine because it's going to stabilize the load for you. With this version, I've got just a free weight barbell set in the rack. I've got these rails set a couple of feet off the ground, a nice thick barbell pad on here, and I've got the bar rolled up right against the uprights of the rack here. What I'm going to be doing is getting my upper body underneath here pushing the bar directly up off the rack rails, obviously using this weight as resistance. So I've got 365 on the bar here, and that's going to be what I'm going to be pushing when I'm doing the exercise. Now, one of the key things to remember when you're doing this exercise is, start a whole lot lighter than this first of all, but when you're doing the exercise, you're going to have to gauge the balance point on every single rep that you do. So, because it's a partial, you don't have to worry about the bar tipping or flopping around very much and the uprights here are going to stabilize it in one plane of movement. As you're doing the exercise, if you start to feel one side tip a little bit more than the other, um, just shift your body a little bit over to compensate for that so you get that perfect balance point and you're um, resetting yourself on every single rep. So make sure when you do this one, get your hands on your, you know, get on your hands and your knees. You're not in a regular push-up position here. You're actually keeping your body in a more stable, solid position on your hands and knees so that you can use substantial load on this because uh, with this one we're looking to activate very high threshold motor units of the chest and the arms and the shoulders as well as load the connective tissue in the, using a closed chain exercise. Here's what the exercise looks like and um, remember uh, start a little bit lighter the <laughs> first time you try this one if you do try this one. So. Get your hands out nice and wide, get your knees out a little bit wide here as well. You're going to want to make sure your back is nice and solid and clenched up so that you have a good solid base for the bar to work on. So here's the exercise, 500 pounds on my back. That's getting pretty close to the limit as far as how much I can put on back and do with this. But uh, overall, this is a great exercise and once you kind of get the balance for the bar, it's actually not too bad in terms of uh, keeping it centered center on your back. Um, ironically enough, I actually find it easier to balance with the heavier loads like this because um, it's pushing back down into you so hard. But uh, as fun as that sounds, it's actually a really good exercise. So give it a try, let me know how you like it.